Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Elisoft coming to you guys again with another retouching video. So, um, those of you that follow me on Instagram, I'm not sure if all of you know, but I have a second Instagram account. My main account is at Elisoft, but my second Instagram account is at Elisoft Mail Photo, and it's an account that is dedicated strictly to my work with male fitness models. Now, I have a very soft spot for male fitness models because when I first first started my photography career, it was male models that were like really providing me providing me with their time like i got to practice my craft on them so i'm kind of really good at shooting male models now um when you shoot like male fitness models the thing about guys is that they always want their arms to look bigger they want their chest to look bigger those that work out want that you know that asymmetrical v back that v tapered back and you know they work really hard and then they come to you and they want to see this thing in the image so you know some people are not really into doing these um, photo um, manipulations. Like some people like have body issues. Um, and this video is not for them. For <laughs> um, I am in no way trying to like body shame anybody. But you know, like when a model comes to meet me, they want me to kind of like make basically like put them in their best light. Like kind of like, I'm kind of like getting my words mixed up here. But anyway, let's get into the video. So, um, I'm going to show you how I kind of give models, like, kind of shape it to make it more aesthetically pleasing, you know, coat pleasing to the eye. So, here's a, an example of something I was working on. Like, this is the actual image here, but here's what I've done. Like, if I zoom in a bit, um, like you can see here, I've kind of done a bit of work. I've made the stomach, um, kind of pinched it in a bit, made the chest bigger, made the arms bigger and you know just a little enhancement I really, it's, it's not really major it's just a little bit but a little goes a long way and that's the thing that's the key to when you're doing this kind of manipulation so the tool that i use to do this is basically the liquify it's kind of it's rest in the filter panel in photoshop if you're using um photoshop any photoshop i'm not sure if uh, it's photoshop cc or so um, but I think Photoshop, even Photoshop CS6 has liquefy. I'm not really sure. I'll look it up. So, um, here's another copy of the image here. I've just, it's just the same image. I just made it duplicate of the layer. So I'm just going to go into filter liquefy. And this is what's going to pop up now. Um, when you first of all, get in here, um, we have some, this is the panel where, um, we're concerned, we're concerned with this and this over here so um size that's basically the size of your brush you can use your left and right arrow keys to change the size then um density and pressure density is think of density as how strong the outer edge of the circle is the outer edge of this particular circle is while pressure is how much um, force is being applied so i tend to work with a very low density and low pressure for a very simple reason let me set the density first of all to 10. if i had to put pressure at 100 and i'm just moving you can see that that's what happens when you do a lot of pressure but when let me reduce my um, pressure to 10 also if i put it at 10 and now i move you can see it's so this way i can kind of build up to the effect the exact effect that i want now i use five main tools here in liquify the first one is the forward warp tool which may i kind of call the nudge tool um i have the pocket tool the blow tool the freeze mask and the erase mask tool all right so let's start with um the freeze mask tool the freeze mask is basically a brush and wherever you paint wherever you paint will not move so no matter which tool you use this area that has been painted will not move so if let's say i get this forward warp tool and i am pushing you can see even though i'm trying to move the arm everything outside is moving but this isn't moving so let's restore all of that now the eraser tool that one is basically just to remove the mask Tada! simple right now let's start with the actual liquify tools that i use first is the forward warp tool or nudge as i like to call it um, this one, you have to think of this like, this is actually like a brush that you're just kind of like nudging things into place, which is why I kind of call it nudge. So for example, let's say I want to make his arm bigger. Now, you the biggest part of an arm is actually the tricep, not the bicep. So if I wanted to make his arm look bigger, what I have to do is try and make his tricep look bigger. So if I'm just 
can see just nudging nudge it out a bit and then I want to bring the shoulder in a bit just straighten that out tighten it in a bit I tend to increase and reduce the size of my brush based on where all right Tada! and I think that's cool I think that's cool yeah so that's how the nudge tool works the next tool I use is the pucker tool this one think of the pucker tool like as kind of like when you want to pinch something you want to make it smaller you're kind of like pinching it in so for this now I'm going to take the freeze mask tool because I don't want to affect this arm that I've worked on I also don't want to affect the crotch I don't want to affect then I really don't want to affect the chest what I want to do is I want to kind of pinch the waist in a bit kind of like give it that um smaller waist bigger chest kind of vibe so I'm going to take the pucker tool I'm going to make it really big and I'm going to make sure that the center is on where the center of what I want to actually pinch into so if it's like you're trying to make the waist smaller so you put the waist in the center so and I'm just going to tap tap a bit just tap three times tap three times all right so I'm just going to erase off the chest now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the blow tool and increase the size the blow tool is the opposite of the pocket tool. it kind of makes everything a bit bigger so I'm just going to go in on each chest and just kind of load it out a bit yeah awesome and click OK so here's where we were before here's where we are now here's where we were before here's where we are now a bit more pleasing the chest looks bigger the waist is in the arm is bigger you know even the shoulder the neck is really popping out now all right so let's do another example here is another image that I have and here's the original image straight out of camera like straight out of camera raw at least and you can see like there were some things here by the side and here I've kind of extended that out I did a video on how to extend backgrounds I will put a link to that up and also in the description below so like in this instance let's do the exact same thing first of all I'm going to duplicate my layer I'm going to go to filter I'm going to go to liquify and here this guy's body is already awesome but let's just kind of enhance the chest a bit and en enhance um, the waist so I am going to take the freeze mask tool I'm going to paint all over the waist maybe a bit of the lower arms just leave the upper arms then I'm going to go to the bloat tool make it and you know what let me freeze the head because my brush might touch the head and I don't want anything to happen to the head I'm going to freeze that and I'm going to take the blow tool make it really big oops make it really big and then just oops sorry keyboard malfunction and ooh, sorry what happened oh okay I pressed P accidentally so the preview was off oops keyboard malfunction all right so let's tap 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 I want to make that left pick bigger so let's tap tap make this tap all right let's erase erase that off and let's go into the to now let's reduce this a bit all right and click okay so if we do the before after you can see the waist is in it kind of looks like he sucked in his chest more like he kind of took a deep breath in all right guys so that's just basically how i use the liquify tool to kind of like enhance my male um, fitness model portraits so 
hope you guys learned something today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this then please subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it and i will catch you in the next one peace